Oh, look at this dog I found here, guys. Oh, how cute is he? He's a mother? Para tocar? Okay. Oh, look at him. Look at this guy. Oh, how cute is he? Oh, look at this guy. Cadiz, me gusta Cadiz. Hombre, estamos en el fútbol. Sí, yo soy de Estados Unidos, vale. Ok, muchas gracias. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Yo, Abraham. Ibran. Ok, vale. Yo soy Kerry. <laughs> Gracias. So, Miko and I were on our way to... Where are we going, Miko? Uh, we are going to have a coffee. Yeah. In this uh, monkey cafe here. Okay, and then afterwards, where are we going? And then we are heading to Playa de Barbate. Barbate! Uh -huh. Look at that, guys. Travel addict guy here. Slow on the intro, guys. So that beautiful dog. And I'm joined once again by the cat man, Miko. And Miko's got a new coffee shop in mind, the Monkey House, right? The Monkey, monkey Cafe. Oh, there it is, Monkey. I see the Monkey, Monkey Cafe. All right, my brother. Let me go visit my brother. There's the Monkey out front, guys. <laughs> monkey time. They put a monkey face in the coffee. Wow. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, Monkey time. I think that's the oral cat. They got the cat everywhere we go. They got the katu nambu here. So that is a coffee in Cadiz for sure. They must have a monopoly on it. <laughs> and follow us. Oh, there you go. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Monkey Bakery Cafe. Are you gonna sit over there, Miko? You gonna sit with the monkey? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. We got the couch. We got the VIP guys. Okay, we're gonna try our morning coffee here, guys. Seems like that coffee's pretty popular. Your cat coffee, Miko. Your katan katunambu. Mm -hmm. And the Stop. monkey monkey mm -hmm. shot. Ooh, mine's quite hot. Wow. Yeah, it is hot. And I got a little design in mine. I got a little. Ooh, that's a nice design there, kind of too. Huh. Kind of nice. Okay. We had a nice coffee at the monkey. What is this place? Monkey. Monkey Cafe. Okay, and everyone's so nice here. And your names were? Paula. Paula, okay. Okay, thank you so much, Paula. And she gave us some good information. And you're from Cadiz, yeah, right? Go, go to the head. Really, it's really beautiful. Okay, yeah. so she's telling us a place to go there. And you're from Cadiz, right? I okay, nice. Wow, okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very nice people here. <laughs> Bye. Gracias. Okay. See, See you. Miko's teaching me some more, some more slang around here, Andalusian slang, and you were telling me cola cow. Yeah, it is basically when you're high or uh, drunk and stuff like this, so you're like hot chocolate. Basically. You're cola cow, and cola cow is a type of uh, hot chocolate. It's almost like Nestle or something, like Nestle Quick, and everyone drinks it here. A lot of times, if they, a lot of people here drink hot chocolate instead of coffee as well in the morning. This is where you, this is where you go to get the vaccination, Miko, right here. Ah, so they're giving they're giving the vaccinations out right here, guys. Wow, this is quite interesting here. They're giving the vaccinations here. So maybe I can ask about this. Hola, buenas. So he told me that they're vaccinating the 50, 50s and older now. So if you're 50 and older, you can come in and get the vaccine, he said. And he didn't want to be on the camera, which I understand. Mm -hmm. So that is what they're doing right now in Spain. And it's open to anyone 50 years and older. Maybe you guys want to see what kind of cars are driving here in Spain right now. Here's a, a Ford, a BMW, a Ford Focus. Here's another Ford. We're outside of the train station. Here is a Megane, a Mercedes. Mercedes quite popular, a Peugeot. Yeah, that is Honda, I think. Civic, maybe? Tsubishi. So similar to America. Ford. Wow, similar. Where? One from California? Oh, the model is California. Look at that. There's the EU plates, guys. So I'll give you guys an idea of what they're driving here in Spain right now. Always interesting to see that. And we're on our way to the bus station. You have to go around the train station, Miko. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's like behind. Another Ford Focus. Ford very popular here in Spain. We have an acronym for that in America, a joke. For Ford? Have you heard that one, Miko? Mm, there are many, I think. Okay, found on the road dead, Ford. Oh, that's <laughs> a good one. Yeah, <laughs> used to be a joke around uh, Michigan. But 
They say quality number one, Ford number one. That's like the slogan. I think it's a pretty good brand overall. Yeah, it depends the model. Like uh, the older ones are kind of like a decent. That. Yeah. I used to have this Ford Mondeo, and uh, the only thing uh, was wrong with it. It had uh, all the problems you can have in a car. <laughs> okay, got it. And there's the cabman guys and the train tracks. And wow, and a cruise ship. I think they are building it. It has been there like a long time. Ah, okay, and here's the the train tracks there. Some people heading in and out of town. And the bus station is right next to the train station. You can see that, which is nice. A big long interconnected. Wow, look at this, quite large. Oh, there's the train there, wow. Very cool. It's leaving, guys, look. There goes the train. And it'll pick up speed really quick. These high-speed trains, they go around 200 kilometers. They're really fast. Let's see if we can catch it leaving. It's still going very slow. Getting up to speed there. Still not too busy guys, look at that. This part anyway. And it is 12.15, you can see that. An elevator, wow, this is kind of strange. Yeah, yeah all that. the easy the stairs. But with the thing you have, it's easier with this one. Ah, okay. And we have the elevator music too. Bing! <laughs> Grooving with your cat, man, guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Gracias, elevator person. Thank you. Wow, there's not much here. This is the uh, bus station here. Doesn't seem to be too much here. Hola, buenas. Hola, buenas. So, getting the tickets for Barbate, guys. Let's go. Here comes the bus coming in now. That might be ours. Going to Barbate. So we're at the train station and we're getting ready to leave and uh, we met the, the girl from Chile at the hostel. ¿Cómo estáis? Bien. Pasando bien. Pasándolo muy bien por Cádiz. ¿Y dónde vas? Voy a Conil. Conil. Voy a conocer las calas, unas playas pequeñitas. Ah, okay. So she's going to Conil and she said there are little beaches there. Okay. Muy buena. Y me gusta la vestida. ¿Dónde ¿Dónde compraste? Este viene de la India. Ah, la India? Sí. Oh, mira. So her dress came from India. I said I liked it. Wow, nice. Very cool. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> Mask on. Oh. Cat man caught him there. We're on the bus, cat man. Great. Good bus? Yeah. Looks like they tore some of the seats out. What do you think that's for? I think you need a lot of social distance these times. <laughs> There's hardly anyone in the bus, guys. So we're on our way to Barbate, Playa de Barbate. <laughs> we just climbed up a mountain, kind of. Where are we now, Miko? Uh, it's Beher. It's like uh, Beher. a bit north from uh, Barbate. And this uh, guy, uh, this woman in the cafeteria was yeah. saying that this is a place worth visiting. So. And it kind of just... So wow, what's up with this? Um, oh, it's kind of wonky here. But uh, we just came up this like road going up the mountain, like going like this. There was some great views. I missed them, actually. But the window's really dirty there, guys. You can see that. So hard to show them to you. But this looks like almost like a town like Mijas or something, mm -hmm. right, Miko? Yeah, it's pretty much similar. But you got a view of a valley instead of a sea here.
going around so many curves, the guy. And quite fast. What do you think, Miko? Yeah, I like it. It's like a ride in a amusement park. Yeah, it's almost like a thrill ride going down that hill, guys. Uh, and actually, you can see a great views too, so it's like even better than you could go to. Uh, yeah, he's moving around these corners. This bus driver. Professional. Uh, yeah, he's been on this road several times, I can tell that, guys. Oh my god, guys, this is the station in Marbaca. Look how small it is. Station here, Amico. And you can store your bags here during the trip in the bus. Thank you. There it is, guys. That's how Amico travels with the pack. Wolf pack. Let's get out of there. I never seen a drop off like that. That's a station there. Look at that. It almost looks like a garage or something. Yeah, it's a small little place here, guys. Wow. Okay, we are in Barbate. Welcome to Barbate. <laughs> little small town here in Andalusia. And there's the beach right there, Miko says. And Miko's all excited to get to the sea here in Barbate. There are some pigs here. Some what? Pigs. Look at that villa, that's nice guys, look at that, beautiful. Nico on a mission. Beach mission. And he's got the wolf on the back guys, look at that, the wolf man, the cat man, wolf man, cat wolf. The building there might be the town hall, what do you think, uh, cat man? Ooh, that's nice here. Let's take a look at that. Plaza here, guys. Look at that. Wow. Nice fountain here and the cat man there. We got the cat man. Today he's got a cat plan for sure. Wow, that is nice. Check that out, guys. A tribute to the sea. Yeah, it's like an old fisherman village. So there is the boats, the fish. There should be some uh, delicious fish here. I saw a sign for a red tuna, tuna rojo, atun rojo. Look at this, even there, the seahorses. And you have the boats there. And yeah, it does look like some old fishermen there for sure. I think Miko's 100% right. This looks like it's a fountain too, but it's turned off right now. And that I think that is the town hall there possibly. So, yeah. Wow, look, this flag is interesting. I haven't seen that one anywhere else. Okay. Like, uh, the red, uh, red white one, blue. right? The blue? Red, blue, red, and white? Blue, yeah. Don't know what that is. Could be the flag of Barbate. Mm -hmm. And we're in a nice plaza here, yeah, guys. Uh huh. Yes, this is the town hall, Ayuntamiento de Barbate. There you go. Plaza de la Immaculada, it looks like. You got it, that's where we are, guys. Beautiful start to our trip in Barbate. I love to check out these little small towns out of the way. Oh yeah. Man, I love to explore these. It's a nice looking mural there on this uh, church here. Very nice there. So what's the plan, Cat Man? Uh, yeah, I think he would go to maybe some restaurant, take a piece. Okay. That sounds good. You read my mind, brother. <laughs> Feed the belly. Belly time. <laughs> like old style? Bodegon de Mar. Raciones. Hola, buenas. Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> eh, ¿Comida aquí está buena? ¿Cómo es la comida aquí? En Cádiz. 
Cádiz. Estuvimos en Cádiz, pasando para aquí. Aquí siempre que no traiga el bicho, soy bienvenido, ¿vale? Ah, ok, muchas gracias, señor. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Yo me llamo Francisco. Francisco, yo soy Kerry. Muy bien. Yo soy de Estados Unidos, ok, muchas gracias. Muy bien. <laughs> gracias. So he said they've got flamenco shows here too. Look at that! Wow, and everybody's been so friendly so far. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice town. You can feel the spirit. It's nice, nice start, and I think you said that guy there was a flamenco artist. One of these guys here, anyway. And here is the place here, Bodegón. Bodegón del Mar. Bodegón del Mar. Okay, perfecto. Okay, in especialidad is uh, atún, atún rojo. Atún rojo. Okay, so red tuna is a specialty, guys. Wow. I don't know what that is. And you see some of the tapas are very cheap, two euros, two fifty. They have the media raciones, the ración entero. So she's telling us the atún rojo, which is a red tuna of barbate, a la plancha, and that is um like uh, pan fried basically. And the atún rojo de barbate and tomate. So those are one of the recommendations she gave us. So we're gonna try the a la plancha. So like a pan fried basically. Very good. Probably with a little bit of olive oil. Look at those olives there. They look quite nice. Why don't you give those a try, cat man? And I like how the life is returning, guys. I hear that how loud it used to be in the uh, tapas bar. It used to be loud. You had to kind of fight your way. There's like some different colored ones here. And I'm having water today, guys, because I've been drinking a lot of uh, canas and <laughs> been catching up with me with uh, Adventure Elliot. Mm, really good. Really good olives around here, wow. And they're really the soft kind, I like them. Like really ready. But some of the olives you get are kind of hard. I don't think they're quite... These ones are really nice, they're soft. I am very happy this YouTuber in my house, in my bar. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. This thank is your you. bar. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, really thank cool. How, uh, how long have you had the bar? Uh, two months. Only, oh, you've been open for two, two months? Two months. Okay, but um, for cuatro años estaba, estuve aquí. Si, sí. hace cuatro años estuviste aquí. Uh, no, no, eh, este bar originalmente cuando fundido? Uh, one year. Uh, one year only, okay, so it was one year, okay, wow. Well. And I'm del mar, flamenco, gastronomía. Ah, Zuna. and you said there's a man that, that plays flamenco music. Is yes, he, yes, where is yes. he? Is he here? Uh, the Saturday. Ah, uh, Saturday place. Saturday okay, day. nice. Okay, thank you, my friend. Thank Muchas you. gracias. Wow, nice guy, huh? Oh, huh? This is uh, really nice. You get treated well when you are like uh, traveling around, so people seem to like it. Yeah. So there it is, guys. It's a red tuna. That's quite expensive. Wow, in the United States, that's super, super expensive. And you see it sometimes in a in a can or a tin, and they come for they they are very expensive. So that was ten euros there, hmm. and that's the same quality of the tuna that they use for sushi. So it's sushi quality. You can eat it raw as well. Yeah. Sea salt. Good it's taste. A lot of salt. Okay, so a lot of salt and yeah. taste of the sea. That's how they like it, guys. Let me dig in there and get a little bit of that. Yeah, very better than the uh, canned tuna, I would say. Okay, <laughs> wow. Well, this is a super high quality, so it should be very lightly done. Actually, in America, they do a little more red, but here it's a little thoroughly cooked, so. Mm. Super nice. Wow, what a flavor. What a flavor. Fresh tuna, wow. And mostly sea salt, that's what they use in this part of part of the world, just olive oil and sea salt. And there's not a lot of ingredients other than that. It's a real taste yeah, of the sea. Yeah, they don't cover the taste of the fish, they don't have to because the quality is so good. And I like that it came with some potatoes that are like baked instead of fried. I like that, much healthier. Very healthy food here in Barbate. With the water today. <laughs> we asked for some more olives. You brought us more. Wow, Miko and I both agree that these olives are some of the best that we've ever had in um, in Spain. Don't you think, Miko? A nice yeah. variety too. Usually they are really dry. 
and you'll have to really like chew on them, but this like melts in the mouth. Oh, these ones are perfect. I don't know what they did to them, but they're so, so good. It looks like they're marinated with some garlic there. You can see that. Wow. They look like different Only kinds, you even. You said there was like red ones in here, right? Yeah, you can see there's red, a bit like a uh, whiter one, and uh, the green ones. So it's a good mix. Guys, when you bite them, they just like melting. They're so, so good. They've got a pit, but the flavor is amazing. Mm. So they got a little pit inside, but they are amazing. Wow. And that's the way you eat them here. There's no issue doing them with your hand. You take them by, by the hand, but then you should put the pits on the plate like that. And that's the common way they eat them here in the Mediterranean. So he recommended another dish. It's the bacalao dorado portuguese. So it's a golden cod. And they do it with a Portuguese style, I guess. I believe that's how it is. So we gotta see this. <laughs> okay, so this is the bacalao a portuguese. So it's a Portuguese style. Cod, bacalao. And, wow, I've never seen that. Have you had this before, uh, Miko? I uh, haven't, never seen this one. But yeah, Miko's already wants to dig into that. Si, por favor. ¿Y cómo describir ese plato? Lleva bacalao. Bacalao? No, patata frita. Okay. Ah, so it's got, it's got french fries in it, okay? Y huevo. Ah, and huevo. Okay, and they, and they, okay, and they put it in and they mix it up. Okay, wow. Okay, thank you so much. Muchas gracias. <laughs> like that, beautiful. <laughs> wow. So, eh, perdón, esas son cosas que podría comer por uh, desayuno también? También, claro. Ah, okay. Pero son platos más para... Es eh, más para almorzar o para cenar, pero para un desayuno también. Okay, muchas gracias. ¿Y tu nombre? Lucía. Lucía. Okay, muchas gracias, Lucía. De nada. Okay, so she's Lucía and she told me that I asked her if there's something you can eat for breakfast. She said, yes, you can, but it's more eaten during lunch or dinner time. So, wow, that looks good. Ken, man, how is it? How, how do you like it? Yeah, it's really nice. The potatoes are really thin and uh, the meat is really smooth. It looks almost like something we have in America called hash browns. Hash browns with cod and eggs, I guess. That's what it looks like, guys. Wow, cannot wait to taste that. And they brought a little bit of bread, too, if we want that. Tried yet? Boy, boy, pro bar ahora. Yes, it is good. Mmm. Wow. Oh wow, there's a lot of flavor in there, guys. Wow. Oh, that is bursting with flavor. So much flavor in there. I don't really test the French fries. I gotta try that again. It is almost like something like a hash brown, but so much flavor with the fish. I really taste the fish. Wow. Mmm. Wow. I taste the egg, and I taste some of that cod. Wow. You can see the bits there. It looks like they they cook it all together. That is so nice, guys. Wow. It seems like something, wow, it's, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Wow, and it's uh, bursting with flavor. Wow, it's really good, guys. And I've never had this one before. Have you ever had this, Miko? Wow, we're trying a lot of new uh, dishes um, on this trip. Awesome. <laughs> what I like about a dish like this is it's so simple yet all the flavors come together so nice and that is that is the definition of great cooking to me simple ingredients super fresh and fantastic flavor wow really good okay so he told me it's a Portuguese dish and I said I've never seen this in Spain and he said yes it's uh, not served in that many Spanish restaurants I guess you get closer to the Portuguese border that they serve it so and he said it's called gold cod because of the color and that makes sense now because when you get it the plate it kind of looks as a golden uh, color with the egg and with the with the slight uh, fried potato I guess wow very nice para Kerry y para Miko en especial desde Barbate un toque de flamenco para ellos por nuestra visita muchísimas gracias amigo bienvenido welcome thank you so much gracias so he's saying for us special they're gonna play <laughs>
Muchas gracias, amigo. <risa> Perfecto. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Yello. Yello. Yello de Barbate. Yello de Barbate. Yello de Barbate. Vale. Okay. Espero que esté famoso en todo el mundo Salud. ahora. <risa> Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Okay. Gracias a nosotros.